Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, John, how you doing? Art, I'm doing great. Uh, I'm glad to see you again for our weekly blog. Our yeah, and by the, way, blog. by the way, I'm going to make an offer for this subject that you can have the first uh, uh, part of a repartee. Stick yeah. it to me. Stick what to you? <laughs> Whatever you oh. like. <laughs> about a vaccine. Oh, yeah. We'll give that's... you a needle. Right. We'll use a needle. <laughs> you want to be stuck? We'll use a needle. We'll give you... By the way, speaking of vaccines, uh, have you gotten your second shot yet? Both Linda and I have had our second shot, and we're uh, two weeks beyond that. And I'll tell you oh, some good. really fun stuff about that for us. But, yeah, we've had both. We had Pfizer in different locations because we couldn't get the same... Uh, uh, really? place at the same time. So we had them about four or five days apart. Uh, but we've uh, we've had them in the last... You shot. mean four or five days between you and your wife? Right. In other words, I had mine and then she had hers about four or five days later through another service that... Right. Uh, I, anyway, what about you and Penny? But, but, each of, but each of you went back to the same location to the get the second location. shot. Oh, Correct. okay. I, I just misunderstood. Yeah. Yeah, we, because that's that's what they do is they... Give you your first shot. We've had our first shot. We're right. due to get our second shot this week. Uh, so wherever you go for your first shot, they I, I take it that they put aside the second shot so that they can schedule you. They don't have to wait for the vaccine to come in. They schedule you. You know you're going back in two or three weeks or four weeks or whatever it is. You get scheduled for the second shot, and it's there waiting Are they for getting you. better with all this stuff? For instance, uh, I got my first shot. And then I didn't hear until about four days before my second shot. I knew what the date was because they wrote it on the card, but yeah. I didn't have an appointment till about four or five days before that. And right. it was very unnerving because there's no way to check it. Uh, what about yeah. you? And, uh, but Linda, oh, no. the, Linda, they gave the her the date, and the following yep. day she had a notification of the time, uh, and it was, of course, the same place. We what got it the guys? same day. I, I go in, I check in, get the card. And of course, there's nobody there but gray-haired people. Um, and I get the card, get the shot, get the card, and before I leave, they schedule my next visit. Yeah, so four, week, four weeks to the day. Now, did you and Penny go together, or did you have separate? No, days? we we could not get. That's yeah. an interesting thing, and I think this is a phenomenon that every state is having. California got a deservedly bad rap. I don't know where they are now, but we got a deservedly bad rap for being one of the lowest states, like number 48 of 50, um, for actually distributing the vaccine that they had. So uh, let's say they got uh, a million doses, they only distributed 25% or 20, 15%, something like that, while other states had been distributing 25, 30% of whatever they got. And not, not a percentage of the population, but a percentage of the supply. Right. So anyway, I, I think that's all leveled itself out now. And um, uh, more importantly is that the fact that um, I think everybody can can uh, get online now and get an appointment. But when we did it, um, my wife had to go online and and every 15 minutes Refresh. Log back in. Is there an opening now? No? Okay. Log out. And the odd thing is that none of the programs that that we had access to, that we were told about, would remember you. So you go on at 9 o'clock. You have to put it all in again, right. And you have to start all over again. And they want to check where you live and what you're eligible and your age and all that. And it was really annoying. Anyway, she got an appointment a couple of weeks uh, I guess a week before I did. And I had just refused to do that. I wasn't going to sit there and play roulette on the computer. Screw it. You know, I'm I'm reasonably isolated. I wear a mask and all that crap. And I'm not and I don't go into big crowds. So I figured, well, I'll just wait. I had a doctor's appointment. And the doctor said, you should have had your shot by now. Why don't you have a shot? And he went out into the office you know, as area where the nurse works. And uh, he said, well, can't we get him a shot? You know, because they're kind of right downstairs from the, right upstairs from the laboratory. Mm. And the 
there was a another nurse walking by, a friend of the his nurse, and she he, he said he turned to her. And he said, "Well, you work down there. You're giving you're the one giving the shots, aren't you? Can't we get him on the list?" She said, "No, we're we're all out." And he said, "Well, what about, when are you getting the next one?" She said, "Well, tonight at seven o'clock." He said, "Great." <laughs> I go online at seven o'clock. I log in. Bingo! It's all open. I got a. I got an. Because you got the. You were first online for the next opening. I was first online for the next batch. Because you available. just happen. You just happen to know. Well, I think. There well, were I knew. Lot... I knew somebody who knew somebody, right. and that. But... That I think is the problem of the system. One, it wouldn't remember you. It wouldn't put you in line in the queue. And number two, it was random. They they didn't know when they're getting their next thing, and they didn't tell people. Hey, tonight at seven o'clock, we're going live, and you can make a reservation. I only got that from because of a friend of a friend of a friend kind of thing, right. even though it was my doctor. And that's not the way it should should work. It should. So, what what what, what really try, uh, hindsight is? You know, twenty twenty hindsight is is golden. You know, and you can always look back and say what went wrong. Uh, well, I rem- hundred years remember, from now, a hundred years from now, when there's another pandemic. No, but I remember. I, they remember, I remember. This. I remember back. Uh, in uh, uh, maybe April or May of last year, uh, Linda and I were having a conversation about this, and I, I I know that I that I had thought that well probably what they should be doing now, and I assume they are doing it now, is they come up with a program where you could get on a reservation program and do right. it nationally, and then just give it to all the states and let them private brand it, okay, and have that all done. But what happened was maybe a month before they had the breakthrough of the vaccines, uh, you've got about 30 different, 50 different states coming up with different routines. And in California, you had Othina in Orange County, which came up with a routine, which that's the kind of thing where you sign on and sign on and sign on. And, right. And, and that was it. a third party service, right. online service, Correct. reservation service. For Orange yeah. You didn't have that in San Diego. Right. And uh, then I happened to get mine through uh, UCI Health because I had a, a chart there from uh, a previous doctor visit I had years ago and I went in there and after two or three tries for that I got on but Linda wasn't eligible for that so she went to Athena and then she eventually got eventually what Athena did was they at least took your name yes okay? and they put you in line put, put you in line and then the next time they would send yeah. you we can give you an appointment here. Can you make it? Okay, right. and that 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 should have been hindsight being, you know, sure twenty twenty. That sure. should have been the way it always was, where you put it in, you sign up, you put it in, you have your name. So they have your name, they have your age, and right. you have your email address. Now and you're are, in the you're in the queue. Right, and obviously there are still going to be situations where people don't, even today, don't have uh, internet access. Don't use right. email. There are a, a, quite a few people. And so sure. you you come up with a routine to take care of that. But in any event, we got our shots uh, after doing this thing. And now with um, uh, Walgreens, for instance, I know that uh, my daughter-in-law, who's a teacher, uh, called in, in, even before they fully opened it up to teaching. She called a Walgreens in, I think, San Bernardino County. And uh, as soon as they announced that Walgreens were going to have it, and they gave her an appointment on the phone. And she went down two days later, and uh, she got her first shot, and they gave her an appointment for the second one right then and there. She walked out with it. Right. Right. Okay. So uh, they're getting better at it. And I understand it, particularly in California, that Blue Cross... Uh, uh, Blue Shield, what that the large blue company right. is actually, which is very well suited for. First of all, I know the people giving vaccinations, uh, uh, and they have a they have a good program for it. Apparently, they're taking it over for California uh, to get mm. you know all the vagaries of all the different places, but they'll get it yeah. straightened out. But anyway, so, so every I I imagine that every state has its own issues because right. they're that the whole thing has been distributed to the states right and so some that, states that was gonna, a good know, thing for the national should have come up with that an app for that just some place for the both online and for cell phones but they didn't but so like yeah. you say for the next pandemic they'll be all right. set they'll even have our name in it 
Okay, because yeah. we won't have to wait a hundred years. I'm sure. I'm sure that in our lifetime we'll have a couple, of, couple three of them, and we'll be yeah. all set for it. So anyway, we've had our two, and we've had. Okay, we're due. We're due later this week. We're going to get our second one. Right. So and had... uh, and you know what I want to do, Art? I want to get Dr. Liz uh, to talk to us about uh, uh, from the scientific, the medical point of view. Uh, update us on the vaccines and what they do and what they don't do. Um, because uh, let's face it, starting a year ago, we got information and it changed every month, right? Mm -hmm. We got up, well, now we have a different way of looking at it, or we got new data or whatever it is. Well, I think the same thing's going to happen with the vaccines. You know, they, they've got they publishing the thing that uh, says this vaccine is 96% effective and that one is 94%. Well, the, well my hunch is that's all going to change right. once the people start quite getting frankly, it. Quite frankly, I would have taken any shot. I, t I told my uh, chiropractor, I said, I'll take it if it's 50%. Right. I don't care. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the fact of the matter is, as much as we love to tout science, science changes with new data. Mm -hmm. And the longer we're giving vaccines out, the more people they get it, the more data we're going to get, and the more we're going to find out things we didn't know before. Well, I know, so I, think, things. I know a couple okay. of things. I know a couple of things. I believe the science that says that all the vaccines that are available to us right now, okay, yeah. uh, all of them universally, uh, they don't have any records of people who have had the vaccine who've either been hospitalized or died. So, right. I mean, you may get sick, but that's still a pretty good bet. And, I'd like and, to and again, on that. again, I, I hope I'm I hope I'm wrong with this, but just knowing how life works, mm -hmm. the longer we go, we've, we've had vaccines for two, three months now. All right? right. Nine months from now, when 50 million more people have sure. been vaccinated, that data might change. All so right. So let's talk. Let's talk. We about have to be ready to change. Good side effects that I do know. Yeah. Uh, remember, I told you that uh, uh, in the San Bernardino and Riverside, uh, you can call your Walgreens or some other places and get them. Yeah. We've heard a bunch of cases. I just saw a Facebook post of a Taiji friend of mine who's a teacher, and she's standing with uh, uh, showing her her bandage band aid on her arm, and uh -huh. she said, "I got my COVID shot, and a uh, my Corona shot." And they, uh, she's holding up a, a, a Corona beer in oh. Corona. <laughs> so she she's triple triple taken care of. But the, yeah. the real bonus for us is that uh, we've had our shots and we've 10 days in. And um, uh, Mike Amantica said, hey, you want the kids for a sleepover? And, and now, you were, now you're comfortable enough to say yes. 100%. 100%. Okay. That, and, it, and it wasn't without just, well, great, we've had our shots to bring them over. We know they're low risk because uh, Mike has actually gets a COVID test about every two weeks because uh, of all the uh, uh, work that he does in Hollywood and other places. And uh, Matika has been stay at home and, and she's had her first shot as well. So anyway, uh, you know, it's, I don't think, uh, you know, who I'd rather hear Dr. Liz talk about it, but you know, I'm hopeful that uh, certainly by the end of this year and perhaps sooner, there'll be more normal kind of things that we can do, probably with some oh, I'm sure there will be. I'm sure there will be. I'm, I'm also hoping that the politics goes away. Right. And the by the way, other, is shutting down. Other than having some fatigue on my, after my second shot, I've had no yeah. adverse reactions at all. What about you and Penny? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. A little yeah. Bit of fatigue after like the like getting shot. a flu shot every year. Yeah. No big deal. Right. Yeah. All right. So listen, uh, everybody, if you're um, if you haven't gotten your flu shots and you were like me and you got lazy and didn't want to fight the system, I recommend that you change your attitude and get on the line mm -hmm. and keep trying. Keep trying if that's the system you've got to deal with and get your flu shots and get them, uh, get your covid flu shots and uh, get healthy. And uh, it's going to be good for everybody when we're all vaccinated. May not be perfect, but it'll be better than it is. And I'm sure that uh, that our audience is uh, uh, waiting with great anticipation until John has gotten his second shot. 
Oh, yeah. And it's 10 days beyond that so that the two of us can actually sit down in person over lunch, maybe in a parking lot on our tailgates. I was going to say, like, <laughs> there are no restaurants to sit well, down over lunch. Well, the takeaway. Yeah. Anyway, so get a shot, get vaccinated, get your bandage of band-aid of honor. And uh, by the way, let us know if you've had any um, uh, adverse reactions or uh, uh, other luck with getting a shot that we could share with our audience. Yeah, and, and let us know how it's different. We're both in California, so let us know how it might be different where you live. We'd, we'd love to have that data to collect. Excellent. And we'll see you. We'll see you all next week uh, for our founders vlog, and where Art and I will, um, no doubt, address something else of great import. Right. And what we'll do is we'll spend the week uh, uh, earnestly and diligently gathering blather, so that we can <laughs> can share it with you. <laughs> so we can blather once again on our weekly blog. Right. All right, take care. We'll see you soon and stay healthy. See you all. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.